Hello everyone, welcome to Arduino and my robot video course. This is chapter six. In last chapter, that is five, we covered basic electronics component. And in this chapter, we'll be covering the mechanical parts that will be used in any robot. So as I said, wheels are the food or the legs of any uh, robot. So this is how any robot can move. And to give it a power, we use motors. Okay, so a motor is connected. You'll be having a, a shaft like this, a pin like a structure that will connect to the wheels. And when this rotate, our robot will move. So if you remember in uh, when you were a kid or when you were very uh, like young, small kids or baby, your parents would have gifted some car that you would drag back and as soon as you leave it would run in the forward direction so how does that work it does not have any motor it has spring okay if you open it you can see the spring so if you drag it back okay the spring starts coiling up and as soon as you leave it the spring opens back okay and in that way it pushes the car in a forward direction so that is spring coiled wheel system and here you can see is a motor controlled wheel system this pin will get into this hole and as soon as we apply current this will start rotating and then our robot will move in the forward direction here you can see different four motors are connected to four wheels and this metal part is called as chasis now let's understand pulley so pulley is a device something like this so this is used to means uh, this is used to uh, reduce the loading effort if you use number of pulleys our effort will be reduced the basic example of a pulley you can see is in the well uh, right now in current scenario you don't see wells but or uh, you can see in the cranes where we have pulleys okay suppose here i have tied a knot and i have to lift this without using pulley it will be difficult to lift it in upward direction but if we add pulley so our the load okay load will get divided okay as number of pulleys are added more the number of pulleys lesser will be the load okay so this is a pulley system now one of the most important thing that is used in mechanical part is gears so gear is used to transmit motion suppose we have a motor and we want to transfer that motion to different parts we will use gears so as you rotate this yellow part in a clockwise direction like this so this will rotate like this and since these these are called as teeth these gears have teeth so this will connect to this other wheel or other gear and as soon as this rotates yellow one this will also start rotating so these things are used to transmit motion transmit or transfer motion from one direction to another there are different types of gears uh, will not be covering that but this is a simple arrangement where a simple rotation on one axis is turned into a rotational axis okay this is worm and wheel connect combination and you can you can see this this is a basic gear system okay this is also a basic gear system that is be under the car so this is a simple basic piston or hydraulics okay so piston is used to transfer okay this is a syringe here is a liquid so when you apply pressure on this liquid it will start flowing and wherever this is connected that thing will move so hydraulics are like an arms okay these are muscles to arm okay so I, if i want to move this arm suppose this is this is our robot and if you want to move the arm we'll connect it with the piston or hydraulics this is a very simple project uh, using syringe and you can make this crane you can check on youtube this is there are plenty of videos how to make crane using piston syringe you can check it and you can make it this is one of the basic project that we did in our school days you can also try doing this so once you press the liquid since liquid is not compressible 
once you press the syringe this liquid will start flowing through the tube and it will go into the other syringe so suppose this arm okay this arm you see blue fluid okay blue fluid is connected here as soon as you press this blue fluid it will push the liquid in this okay and it will push the piston backward and by pushing it back it will hold the can so you can see many there are many v2 videos we can learn how to make this robot okay thank you so much and these are the basic mechanical components and we'll be covering more in upcoming videos thank you